Today, children and women they spend much of their time walking around even many times in order to bring potable or anyway water to the houses. Now, having with the Warka Tower the water, the potable water closer to the place where they live, it free times for them that can dedicate to other activities. The project is inspired very much by Mother Nature and the biomimicry is behind it. So analyzing how nature is using this technology of harvesting water from the air, applying to craft structure. In this case, we've been looking to insects, to plants, and many others that is informing us how to be effective collecting water from the atmosphere. So the idea is that uh, we have to be high in the sky in order to collect water from the atmosphere and there where the tower idea comes. And it must be very lightweight. This is why we have been using you know, this open frame because actually the air must pass through and inside we have the mesh that is collecting the water. So, in fact, the Warka Tower is not a project that is repeated everywhere, depending on the context, environment, climate, social, context, we adapt the project to that and we try to make the best use of you know, what is locally uh, available. In Ethiopia, in this community, bamboo, for instance, was one of the main resources and skills. Warka Tower, it is a passive structure, so it doesn't use energy, but only natural phenomena like uh, rain, fog, condensation and gravity. So now we are thinking on a bigger scale how to bring this, uh, this technology to many other villages and different countries and different continents because the problem is not only in Africa, only in Ethiopia, but actually it is a global issue.